Well, we were out cutting uh, broom corn, uh, harvesting it so that we can, uh, eventually the kids at the college can make brooms out of it. What I'm doing is just going in on a slight angle to cut them. And just taking off enough so that I know I've got the broom itself and a little bit of stem. This farm has been in my wife's family since about 1906. So they were raising broom corn here. And uh, her dad had spoke about them having raised, raised some broom corn, but uh, that was it. He, he did not uh, talk about anything about the practices of actually raising it. It's in the Milo and corn family. Uh, but it has a very different head, a very small seed, and a long stalk that is this part here that is actually used for the broom. Back around 1900, there were three broom corn factories in this area. One was located a half mile south of here. One was located in Lindsborg, and there was kind of a question whether that was actually a factory or a warehouse. Uh, they can't find the records to verify it either way. I always had an interest and a desire to farm. Um, I used to get up early Saturday mornings, like six o'clock, to watch uh, USDA promotion films that they put out. It was a show called The Modern Farmer. Uh, and looking back, some of those, some of those shows were kind of what we're doing today again.